Well, hi there, gang. Did see you there. Nope, that's an abject lie. I, of course, did see you there, gang. Hi there, it's Action Johnny, and you're obviously clicking on this link to watch another one of my scintillating videos. So here they are. Um, we've had a bit of a tech upgrade since the last one. Now I can do the entire thing looking like I work in a call centre. So, two thumbs up for that. But on the positive side, it does mean that hopefully my voice will be coming through loud and clear at the same level throughout the video. So what are we doing today? What's the purpose of this fun jamboree that I've got lined up? Well, dear viewers at home, um, I thought I'd break up the monotony of doing endless videos on Crab Crane. As, you know, great as that deck is and as much as I love it, and bring in the bringing the knowledge to the masses, uh, I thought maybe, you know, yeah, just try something different for a change. So, what have we, what bollocks have we got here today then? Um, so this is a, this is, this is a, a deck concept which has been tried and tested and found to be pretty awful, generally speaking, by uh, people that have been having a crack at this much better, much longer than I have. But, um, yeah, screw it. I thought, why not give it a go myself? It's a unicorn on a yurt deck. Uh, I became, I've, every now and again, I sort of go on these little, little spouts of, uh, sorry, little spats of uh, making decks that are just truly terrible for the enjoyment of just seeing them attempt to work. I say attempt because they very rarely do, but you know, it's very funny when they do work. So this, uh, this yurt deck comes in two flavours currently. I've got this crab version, crab splash version, I should say, and uh, a lion splash version. Um, they're quite similar. One of them has Satoshi and one of them doesn't because of uh, rebuilding crab, being able to get them yurts out of the discard. We don't want to be milling away our yurts, you see. So unless we've got a way to get them out of the discard, I have actually left Satoshi out. But anyway, we won't talk about the deck you can't see. Let's just talk about the deck you can see, which is this one with Crab Splash. So is this a competitive deck? No, it isn't. Uh, it <laughs> In these sort of decks, you always wonder, like, could it be competitive? I mean, if your opponent has no idea what you're doing it just assumes you're sort of shuffling around attempting to play the game but playing it quite poorly can it truly be awful well yes it can because it does require on the element of surprise to work and when that element has been lost which is quite quickly almost as soon as a policy debate or a <laughs> opponent just basically sussing you out happens then uh, yeah the element of surprise is lost but we shouldn't let that deter us. So what makes this specific on a deck so damn great? Well, first of all, it was built by me, so uh, that's something. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that great. Um, but yeah, no, the idea I sort of wanted to like mess around with was putting all of the low-cost guys in, just keeping that, that dynasty curve as low as possible. And just basically uh, not really investing huge amounts in anything until you're kind of ready. So the way we're going to play this is uh, like we're not playing a year deck. We're not going to like come out turn one, bidding one, and trying to like spike them on honor. We're going to do like every other faction in this game at the minute and we're going to bid five until we've got the cards in our hands that should enable us to win on one turn. The danger of course here is getting found out before that can happen. So we've got to be a little careful. Um, to that end, you'll see there's a bit of a political slant on this deck. I've got some for shames in there, some policy debates. I'm running... I think 12 courtiers in Dynasty. What have we got here? We've got a Satoshi, we've got the Trader, we've got Unicorn Santa Claus, and we've got the super efficient Utaki Mediator. Um, 
Yeah, so hopefully we should be getting some mileage out for Shane. And the higher political stat characters give us, you know, a way around getting policy debated. But, um, yeah, we kind of just want to disguise the fact we're playing a Yurt deck until the last second possible when it's too late. Now, in an ideal game, what will happen is, at some point, we will draw up into a hand which has both Contingency Plan and Way of the Flower. And we will suddenly change our five bids to a zero bid and take ten, or take five from the opponent and use Way of the Flower to uh, bump that up to ten. So we can go from theoretically tw 10 to 20 in a single turn, and after that it's just about making sure we have en enough yurtage to get us over the finish line. So what will do it, really, is two yurts and an airing. Or alternatively, honouring our guys, you know, just getting rid of trickle, trickle honour on early with some court games maybe. Um, in the other version of Lion, I had stuff like Guard Duty and Honoured Blade to help with that sort of steady trickle of honour. But in this version, we don't have those. So I think what we're going to have to do is burst all our honour in one. Um, this one, this version's, well, both versions are running. Oh, no, sorry. It was supposed to have different provinces to this. Ignore this bit. Ignore these provinces, viewers at home, because it should actually be before the throne, because where that breaks, you get more honour. That's actually going to be, we're going to play that a little bit like people might play uh, Feast of Famine. So, like, if we get someone attacking into before the throne, we're going to do, like, a token one or zero block so we don't lose honour. And then if they're not breaking it, we're going to, like, help them out, you know, maybe by giving them a boost if we can. Uh, we will be running Meditations. Pilgrimage is going to be shameful for obvious reasons, so we can get even more honour from our honour dude leaving play. Uh, public Forum will be, be the same, and Rally to the Cause will probably change to the one which lets you kneel when you have free booty um, right in the streets. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be our little province lineup. Harbour, harbour. So let's just get that all set up. I can always cut this if it gets boring. Right in the streets, shameful, and before the throne. Boom. Whew, let's save that up. Let's get that exported and <laughs> go have some fun <laughs> with this silly deck. God, this silly, awful deck. This is the kind of mood I'm in today, guys. I don't have time to play serious stuff today. There we go. Yeah, we'll label it competitive because we really want to see what this yurt deck can do to an unsuspecting competitive player. Ah, I've got my delicious locally brewed sour ale there. I've got my new headset. I've got my yurt. I'm ready to go. Okay, so here we are. We're in a game and we've got Scorpion. So we are going to probably watch this plan die, die on its ass. But you know what? That's kind of why we're here. And look, there it is. Yurt's already. What are the odds? Um, we are going to mulligan two of those cards. I'm going to keep the Yurt and Satoshi. Oh, that's much better. Oh, look at that. And raise the arm as well. Well, why not, eh? I've just got to actually remind myself what this does, because being truly terrible... Right, defending military conflict. Face down dynasty card. Well, certainly not a lot of conditions to be met there. That seems like a very easily playable card. And look at that. We've got where the flower... Easy. This game's going to be easy, gang. Easy, but easy. So I think what we'll do is we will just grab Satoshi and then we'll pass.
Maybe he'll just outright pass. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Doesn't even want to play the game. Cool. So we'll do that. We'll pass. So at least we've denied him some economy. Of course, that probably means Mia Satoshi is going to get pretty screwed. But we're certainly not going to be attacking as part of our first conflict. No, we're going to yurt our little hearts out and then hope that Raise the Alarm does something good. Oh, look at that. So we don't have to worry about fate and death. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. This is interesting. So we're going to draw five. No reason to... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so uh, I guess my opponent isn't well versed in uh, how to play Scorpion if he's one bidding me. Yeah, sure. Whatever. You just one bid him next turn and get it all back again. Cool. So what we'll do now is just to really make it feel futile, we will actually give each player two honor. So hopefully that will dissuade him from from pulling that stun again, getting more on the bidding train. Okay, so we can pass that now. Let's have some fun. Now, in my hand, I can already see that I do not have the tools to style out this honor victory, homie. So, and we may never have the tools if he's going to one bit us all. So, what we're going to do is pass our conflict opportunity. Gee, it's a little past that. I do realize I have the wayfinder in hand. Maybe it'd been better to attack for that. But whatever, we'll see what he does first, eh? We'll see what he does first. Hmm. So he's passing. And now what's he gonna do? What fun conflict is he gonna is he gonna try? Hopefully he'll go for shameful. Go on, go for shameful. You know you wanna. You know you wanna and you wanna go for shameful display. Right, so he isn't going for shameful display, he's going for meditations. Political. That's a bummer, but hey ho. So I guess what we'll do is defend with this guy. And we'll give him a fan. What will he do, I wonder, to try combat this tactical development? Well, he's suddenly doing something, that's for sure. So I think what we'll do after he's finished flirting with this idea of... <clears throat> okay, he's taking my fan, that's fine. So now we'll just shame him and be done with that. Feels like this guy is not someone that, okay, that's fine. He's now forced to edict to that, and that's perfectly okay by us. So we'll just wait for him to do his action. And then we'll force shame them again. So he's doing that. He's dishonoring me. That's fine, because we'll definitely be getting him re-honored. Uh, cool. So now we'll shame again. Goodbye. And now he has nowhere to put his cancels since everyone's already dishonored. Beep. And I will just quite nicely take this void ring. That's great. I hear you say, that's just pretty great. Okay, so he for shames me as well. Fine. I really do not care about that. It does mean, sadly, I will lose the favor when he goes okay so now that first conflict out of the way we're gonna jump in the wayfinder you know just find out what's under this little number here shameful display Wee. i really wish i wasn't first player here because i could break that if i wasn't 
But hey ho, hey. So, do I go for shameful or do I go for something else? I mean, let's just give it a go. Let's go for something else. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is we hit Pilgrimage, which sucks. Uh, do I want to go for Void, knowing that he will just probably go for it again? Or do I go for something else? I could just go for Earth. could go for Air, get some of that honor back. Seems bad though, man. Mia Satoshi is realistically going to spend most of his match up just on it anyway. So let's go for Earth and let's go for whatever this is. Please not Pilgrimage. Yeah, fine. Sweet. We can do that all day before the throne. So this guy is probably a new player because he's not running Secret Cash. Okay, he's furying me though. Word, word. Hmm. Well, that's that, eh? It was a beautiful dream. But he's out of fate now, Fury. You know what? This is this is disappointing that this guy isn't gonna play the game I want him to play as Scorpion. Alright, so he's not gonna go back to meditation, so hopefully now. Just hopefully we can get him to attack somewhere else. Great. He does military earth as well, that's fine. We won't declare any defenders, but we will raise the alarm. During a military conflict in which you are the defending player, turn a dynasty card in the... Ah, Christ's sake. Wow, it has to be the attack point. Oh, man, that is bad. Okay, fine. I guess we're just going to lose a card and an honor here. As long as that card is not where the flower, I'm okay. It wasn't, so that's fine. The game is still very much afoot. Yeah, I'm a bit four here and just see what happens. And I'm gonna chuck all of these apart from the little moto youth on the end there. Let's just get rid of him. Should I bid five again? Yeah, I bid five again. I dunno, what does that put me on? Two? No, three. I'm going to go to three. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We'll bid five. Let's just see. Look, more, more yurts there. So we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. There's a mediator as well, just after we lose the favour. Sweet. So this is great stuff there, gang. Great stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so he has no courtiers on the board that he needs right now, unless he's going to get that liar. He might. It's never too late. Is he going to get the liar? No, he's going for the fate. The fool. Cool, so we'll get that. We'll get this. There, well, there's contingency plan. Let's get some more yurtage going on here. He can have some more honor. <laughs> there's the third yurt. Oh, mate, look at that. All right, so we need to draw into some rebuilds now. Right. God, I hope he takes the bait. Can I do this now? No, we'll do one more five bid. This is probably bad. But hey, at the end of the day, like, right, he's going to carry on with that. Eh, no, we won't bother with that. We'll just do that. 
does mean I can't use that last yet. Unless I really, really wanna. But fine. Ah, lame. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way, gang. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. You've got no cards. Okay. Fantastic. Now, what I'm hoping is after this round, he will begin to see the errors of his way. And we've got a rebuild in hand now as well, worth noting. Cool, so he's going military air there, and he's doing that against... Yep, he's doing that against shameful display. So that's great for us, because that means that we can do this and then we can move him across to before the throne or public forum if it's looking dicey um what are we going to do then let's let's do this done nice easy strategy there right so there we go Still not winning, hilariously. Is this? It is. Uh, it is military. <laughs> All right, it's raise the alarm time, guys. Woo! 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 I'm gonna raise that alarm. Just wait for him to do something. Okay, so he's bonsaiing. That's fine. Bonsai away. It doesn't matter. I'm still gonna. Still gonna be you. Now what we'll do is we'll drag him over to meditations and poach his honor. That's what I think we will do. Cool, so he's done that. He's back on top. So we're gonna raise the alarm. Ding ding. It's asking him if he wants to do something, which I'm somewhat at a loss for because, huh. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Maybe dragging him over to meditations is not the correct idea. So what is he winning by four currently? Well, we'll either drag him to meditations, forum, or uh, this thing here before the throne. Okay, cool. So he is now back down at what appears to be an honor total, slightly less concerning than it was before. Not quite sure how that happened. Banzai? Was it just Banzai? What was he on? What was he even on? Who's to say? Good news is, if we ever get to use it, is we have <laughs> five cards or eight card hands are entirely based to, towards pursuing a victory strategy that's looking nigh on impossible here. Right, so what can I do? I can get the mediator in here. Oh, I see what he's done. Cheeky little monkeys use the manipulator to move things across. What's he like? Cheeky little guy. Hmm, so a throne, forum, or this one, Meditations. I don't really want to let anything break yet. Uh, okay. If only you could break that, that would have been something. Hey. Oh, if wishes were fishes, my friend. Let's take it to the public forum then. There you go. That way he can just knock his head around that all he likes. There we go, and he passes now. We'll pass too. It's fine. You can put a little token on that thing. 
that's all good by us. And he's trying to dishonor me out, which he's not going to succeed in. Okay. So now it's our turn. So we've got here a strength two, three, political. We're going to do fire, I think. Mm -mm. And we're just going to farm this uh, before the throne. We know where Shameful is. I assume Pilgrimage is somewhere in here. We don't want to give him any more fate. We don't want to give him a way to honour his guys. So, yeah. Let's do water first. So we'll go. We'll go water. So if we go water, what are we doing? Military water? Yeah, we'll do military water. I mean, that way he kind of has the block, right? Unless he has charge. I'd be obscenely lucky, considering he only has three cards in his hand and has only seen nine cards of his conflict deck. He's played some good cards already. Yeah, he might have a charge. It's perfectly reasonable to accept that. Okay. Well, you're going to... I have to understand that isn't going to do anything there, but that's totally cool. Yeah, it's still a one because she has zero glory. But that's fine. Maybe he just wanted to get rid of any chance of me honouring my guys. Stupid when I've got a yell on the table, but... Whatever. Okay, so we'll just, I think, kneel out this guy. There's no point in us readying our one strength dude. Cool, so he loses an honor there, so he's rapidly running out of stuff. And then we'll go for the firing, and we will just get our. Uh, we'll just get our. Oh shit, what have we got there? Oh, it's the Imperial Palace. I'll tell you what, we'll pop that on public forum. Joy. Uh -huh. Oh, we milled a Keeper Monk there as well. What a time to be alive. Um, hmm. That was an accident, abusing me as Satoshi, but uh, it worked out alright, so why not? <laughs> why not, eh? Great, so now I guess we will go fire and we'll honor Mia back again because I kind of need to get on that. There we go, and we'll get a fate for doing that as well, which is bloody lovely. <laughs> and then it's our first turn, so we'll go void and we'll get that keeper monk. Great, we're not going to bother doing that. Pass. We're firing. There he is. Lovely stuff. So the favour comes to me, meaning my mediator is now kind of shaped. And I will do our last conflict window, which will be to get him back to his uh, good old self. Oh, look at that. Got my storehouse as well. And there's a spyglass. Lovely stuff. Always happy to see a spyglass when they don't uh, have any cards or means of taking it because, as you can see, calling in flavors is in the bin there. <laughs> Tragic. Yeah, I guess we'll keep the favor on. Wow, well, political, why not? Let's shore it up. Get rid of those non fate characters. Uh, Satoshi will, of course, be baiting himself right back up. I really hope that I don't have a too much of an awful flop. 
because I'm going to keep both of these cards. So all three Yurts are in the bin now, we've got Rebuild, we've paved the way, we just need this guy to get on board with our bidding program, you know? Damn, son. Okay, that's pretty terrible, but it's not the end of the world. I'll just do this. And we'll just do, yeah, we'll just do that, pop a little fade on him, why not? Oh god, it doesn't even work, I don't have any other unicorn characters. Lol. Yeah, you get your liar, fine. We'll pass, we'll get the fade. You can just pretty much buy all your guys, really. But that's fine, I only need to win a void conflict. Can I even do that? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Mm hmm. Well, we'll just bid one now since he's going to carry on. Oh, look at that. Yeah, maybe we won't even bid one. Maybe we'll just use one of these and go down. I might have given the game away, but somehow I'm not massively uh, convinced on this guy's ability. I probably should have used a way there, but no, that would have given the game away. No. It's fine. He can draw two. We draw none. But that's fine because we've got a spyglass. Spyglass. So he is. Hmm, he's just got a Unico for military. Oh, that's something. That is something. Okay, we'll leave the actions there, and then we will... Well, we're going to do what we can to put some pressure on. We'll stick a spyglass on him. Maybe he's got to let go or another calling in flavors. flavors? Calling in flavors. Brilliant. Nope, he doesn't. So, we'll see if we can give him a little bait now. To go in on the old political void there. Skill seven, bang, trigger the sweet spyglass. Oh, that gets us another spyglass. Special two spyglass for one offer. So if he wants to defend this without any buffs in hand, he needs to go in with three defenders. Will he bother? Maybe he has buffs in hand. All right, that'll do it. He just needs a fate worse than death. Joy of joys. Well, there we go. Uh, huh. Yeah, no, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to jump that in there. We're going to move you right back to the conflict and trigger that second spyglass. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming, did you, bud? And now you've got no fate three cards and I'm gonna get two keepers maybe more how many Imperial cards do I have left Satoshi oh dear no I've got five. well we won't, we won't be milling the keepers there but we will pass he loses another honor we'll void ring off him we'll get you out and we'll also get this guy out oh that's lovely so now our board is looking better than it was. It's a shame to see Satoshi go, but he's kind of done his job, I guess. Favoured mounts. They're good. I like them. Cheeky little plays open up with those, baby. At this point, guys, I think you know, short of like scouring every last card from his hand. We're probably going to... How are we going to win this game? Well, we'll wait for his board to disappear. That'll be a start. 
And then I guess we'll start breaking some provinces. So we know Shameful is the one on the far left. We know this is before the throw, and I've just got another Wayfinder off that second smite last trigger. Hubba hubba. Cool. So he is going in on that. It's fine. Political Earth. So we'll just do this guy. He's coming in. Okay, so there we go. He just really just wants those cards. And who can blame him? We will... Oh, shall we take him over to Shameful? Hmm, risky stuff here. We could take him over before the throne if it gets too bad. No, we won't take him over to Shameful. That seems bad. What we will do is just play this guy out with a fate on him at home. Boing. And we'll see what's under here. That's public forum. So this has got to be pilgrimage. Okay, well, he knows what he's running. Could be meditations. Mm -hmm. He's doing a policy debate, A. Eh? So if he bids one, and I bid, yeah, that's just. So we'll do that. We'll decrease my bid, and then we'll use this. But oink, what does that get me? That gets me up to a respectable 12. There we are. You can have a look at my hand there, and he'll probably take Spyglass if he's got any sense. Okay, he doesn't. Maybe he has another policy debate. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, at least I wear the flower there, that's a bummer. Cool. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Because now we are gonna come back hard against Ooh. No, we already got two spike ash triggers there. Now we wasted effort. Uh, I guess we'll just do this against this. Get it flipped. Always helps to get rid of Miramoto's Fury. And we'll go for air, so that's something he can't do. So not one, but two vulnerable provinces. Right. So hopefully he will come back swinging with a military. No, he's not bothering there. Okay, cool. So we resolve the airing and we'll just take two there. I'm no interest in dragging him down. We're just going to make sure that he needs to bid as highly as possible next turn. So we're getting to the point now where we might be able to do our honor rocket if he bids five. Man, yeah, he probably won't bid five, but you know. We'll see. Okay, he's getting one. This is probably where we use Shameful now. We'll get that Keeper nice and honoured. Military Fire. And this is us for everyone. So we'll just block there with everyone. We will do... Uh, no worrying meditation. So what we'll do is we will just Talisman 
right over to shameful display just like that and then we will do this just to really keep that yeah, is he going to get down to 12? I'll be able to use his stronghold finally. No, he won't. My guy's leaving play as well. Joy of joys. Okay, so he's still winning, but he's not doing anything. Really. It causes much concern. Now yeah, we'll just pass. He can fire him however he likes. Tis a shame I didn't get Satoshi, but oh well. And so I think at the end of this turn, I'm going to chuck the Imperial Palace because I guess I've got so much fate now. And he's got one. I got a much bigger board. You know, yeah, I'm going to lose my Satoshi of all that cool stuff, but he's played a fate worse than death. Um, yeah. We'll keep the favour. So he's. He's actually getting rid of the Dishonor on Unico with that firing. Weird. He takes the favour with the Fawning Diplomat. Cool. He has a card via Sincerity. Pass there. We'll pass the regroup stage. Get rid of this. We can always rebuild it if we really need it. I don't think we will. Let's just see how that goes. Wow. That's a great flip for us. And his is expensive. So this is kind of great, actually. We'll buy Moto Juro with two. Maybe we can just buy them all. So let's start with this guy. Boink. One, two. Uh, what do I need here? He's five if I get him. Six, seven, eight. Fantastic. <laughs> Okay, now so maybe we will keep this guy on the province and we'll just go bang, ba bang, get one of him, and then we'll just get this guy with a fate. Maybe just no fate. Ah. He's first, he's first. Yeah, I get this guy no fate. There we go. Boink. And we'll pass there. Okay, one for our bid. He's given us two. Should we do that? Oh, it feels a bit bad, doesn't it? No, we won't bother. We will not bother. We won't use waning hostilities either, since we are. He finally gets to use his stronghold. Lucky devil. Bit late now, though, mate. We're going to stick that on Motijuro. He's probably got another calling by now. I'd expect him to have it. Oh, this is such a shame that uh, my sweet, sweet plan of honor rocketing to victory was completely shut down by this guy that has. From the looks of it, no idea how to play Scorpion. Sad times, sad times, but you know. All that glitters is not gold. He's past there. Right, so we're just going to draw butt tons of card now via the Eyed Trader and my Spyglass guy. So, I guess we'll just go Conquest for this. i got a load of dudes leaving play. There's no cavalry reserves in this deck, hilariously. I'd be kind of wary about using it in this matchup as well. Maybe we're just going to go Earthring to hurt his hand as much as possible. Political water.
Hmm. Political water, he says. A. Eh? So I'll do this. And then we'll go, I guess, the attacker guy. Ah, this guy, too. And he can do what else he likes there. He can really just, you know, bring someone else in if he wants. That's tote cool. Uh, I guess we could then, hmm. Can we Jiro here? Yeah, we can Jiro. Oops. No, that only works when he's moved two, isn't it? So I have to use both of his actions. That's fine, we'll do that then. Okay, so my action will be to move him, bang, and we'll trigger him for a card, bang. <laughs> oh, look who that is. Guess that Borderlands is staying around. So he has an action. And as he's done that, assuming he doesn't fate worse than death, my Juro, which he probably will. No, nope, he does that, so we'll send Juro home. There he is. Sweet. Okay, so he's done that, which means very little, because I have a guy that can essentially stand. And I can have someone else as well. Ugh, I guess we've got to... Now's the time to look what's under these void provinces, eh? Yep, fine. Pass that. I'll take the watering. He takes nothing. So maybe we'll go like earth and air this turn. Oh, no, no. Wait. There's one fail on that guy. We should definitely get Void in there. As we are keepers of the Void. Uh, we'll stand him up. Why not, eh? I guess this is where we go for Shameful. Let's go for Shameful. So, we'll pass that. Uh... He does still have Fury up, but we've got a Wayfinder in hand if he pulls that shit with us. And we've got the ability to bring people in by Stronghold. So, let's go. Bang. Bang. Uh, and bang. We'll go there first. Whoa, isn't that lovely? Initiated conflict there. Oh, surprise, it's shameful. He reacts with his roll, and we will react to the Spyglass to get another reprieve. So weird. Feels nice being able to use Spyglass again. Feels nice. I can't remember the last time I put that on a card and it didn't get immediately confiscated. Hmm. Okay, so we'll break Shameful. And then we'll void him right off the board. Oh! No, he's charging. Alright, cool. Charge away, old chap, charge away. Yes. So I will have to do my thing here. Uh, okay, cool. Well, we'll just pass for now. He's going to have to work hard for us to... Uh, not win this and i'm okay with that so he goes yeah switchy switchy and then we go boink boink and he goes does he have a banzai let's find out let's find out oh, i wish i didn't have to do void this turn I wish I could leave it until next turn, but I don't like Rui. Ah, oh, he's getting another charge target in there, that's fair enough. And who can blame him for that? Alright, fine. 
Two charges down. No problem for us. So I guess we'll just, uh, yeah, pass that. We'll pass that right there. Fantastic. Oh, there we are. Unassuming age in joke. Okay, so we'll just dishonor a character. We'll dishonor this guy. Ah, that was dumb. I should. Well, it makes no difference, does it? Because I'll be getting one from the unlocks anyway. Right, so he's got military left, and I've got political. So let's go back to shameful and break it then, eh? Since it's now used it all up. And he in turn can break my shameful. Hmm. That doesn't seem great. No, whatever. You can do that. Now he can break whatever he wants. He's got the military favor in a Yojimbo, so we'll see what he wants to break. But it makes no difference. Destiny is at hand. So we will go. Maybe actually we get rid of the Yojimbo. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Yojimbo. He goes for shameful. Military fire. Okay, he's going for the public forum for some reason. Uh, do I bother with this? No, I don't think I do. Uh, well, we'll defend it. Why not? Stop that on a loss at least. Is he going to honour Harui, or is he going to dishonour my guy? Oh, that's fine. He honours Harui, so we will get rid of Harui. There's no need for him to be sticking around. There we go. We'll just go straight back to Shameful, and we'll just give it a good kicking in. And then all of your effort will have been for naught. He passes, I pass, we're voidering, and off it goes. Now, hilariously, that puts him back up to 13, and once again incapable of using his stronghold until he does some stuff. That's why I always put more than one fate on people as well. Oh. I should have remembered to have reprieved my border rider. Never mind. We'll save it for a rainy day instead. Fantastic. What does the horizon bring? Nice. Cheap low cost guy. Juro dupe and guy worth playing. All right, cool. So one, five, two fate going forward. That's perfect. And look, there's a fate on that airing. What are you doing? Why do you? <laughs> You're so crazy, Jesus. Okay, out he comes. Oh, he's got a show to dupe. That's what he's doing. Mmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, that's cool. He can just keep doing that. He can get the fates from passing. That's fine. Is that three fawning? Fucking hell. Three fawning diplomats. There you go, guys. That's how you win. So, 
I need to do, I need to either defend or win Void. Now I imagine what he'll end up doing is, is probably winning the Void himself. So what we're going to do is go for Water. So we'll draw one again, since we're way past the need for the bidding dial. That last bang, that's what we want. Twenty-one. So this is now winnable via honor. Fantastic. Okay, so I think we actually go all in on a military here against before the flag. Maybe not. No, we go on a public forum. Maybe maybe we go all in political. No, no, that's dumb. One. Okay, cool. So this is what we do. We go. Pass. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. <laughs> no, I can use a stronghold. I can't do it. Ah, oh, so close. So close. Oh, you are so close. There we go. Ah, what a time to be alive. But well, we're still going for it. Maybe they'll figure out some other line of play. I mean, I could always just try and get him to break. Oh, that would be so sweet. Okay, right. So here's my line of play, guys. I'm going to go all in on this air. And then hopefully I'll draw a second talisman. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. So we will. Pass conflict actions. We are a little fate strapped here, so maybe it will use the trader to to get a fate, depending on what that spyglass card is. Okay, let's go bam, 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 go military on that air, oh no, so we won't bam him just quite yet, and maybe, just maybe we will, wait, I can only use that with Juro, can't I, okay, that's fine, so yeah, now we'll go all these guys, and then we'll send in Juro, and then we can use his ability to send him home if we need to. Okay, cool. So we'll do that against Forum, skill 6, and then we'll see what he's got going for him. We'll see what he's got. Oh, he's not defending. Brave. Stunning and brave. Okay, cool. Badoink, badoink. We'll do the spyglass first, which is another spyglass. And I guess we'll draw a card. Oh, it's tough at this point. I really just need that talisman. No, I don't. That's a second rebuild. That's the game. We'll see what he has to do. Okay, so let's go bunk to put this yurt back. <laughs> oh, he's forced to eat it, dig back. That's fine. Yeah, it was natural. He's G1. Cool, we'll get the second one back. Bang. You gonna do with all that yurt, son? What are you gonna do with all that yurt? Okay, so do it once per conflict. Oh, that's good. 
Okay, so we'll send him home now. And likewise, we will send this guy home. So let's face it, we only need him to be at, what's he at? Two? One, two, two? Yeah, I guess he's at two. Yeah, that's fine. And then we will yurt. Boing. Ah, oh, if only we had a something. Okay, we will pass. Pass there. We'll solve the error and we'll get that two on a. That's a bummer, he had that forged edict. That was a bummer. But all is not lost. The day could still be ours. So he's attacking now, so we're going to stick this on him. So our next ring priority is boys, but I imagine he'll be going for that. So we'll just pass there. He doesn't really want to go for any of these. I suppose Meditations is the best bet, really, at this point. I'm okay with letting Public Forum break sometimes, you know? If it means that they've got three horrible provinces to deal with after struggling with it all game, fine. That's fine. Political Void, he says, eh? So, yeah, we will go. Bickety bam, bickety bam. We'll go. And do that. We'll trigger both spy glasses now. Oh, look at that. Oh, so we. And let's just win the game that way. There's that third rebuild. There's that yet. <laughs> Where's your second board edict now? Uh, that is a uh, that's the game right there. <laughs> and that's why you can see the name for this deck is Yurting with Disaster. Because we did indeed yurt yeah, with Disaster there. It was <laughs> Come on. I can't believe we got honour win from four honour. There you go, mate. Anything's possible. Anything's possible when you can believe it. He doesn't look very happy now. But, I'm, well, look is a strong word. He doesn't feel very happy from the vibe I'm getting from this pause. And who can blame him, you know? You, you come up with Soju. Yeah, he's passing. We did <laughs> Okay, I can retire a happy man now. Okay, we're just thank you for the game. And we'll get the hell out of there. Yeah, so that was pretty funny. Um, I'm not going to assume that my opponent was a bad player, because that's rude, but I definitely don't think he was a regular Scorpion player. There were some fairly questionable lines of play going on in that game, but hey, there we have it, gang. Yurting with disaster. Every deck looks amazing when you can stomp randomers onto Goku, right? But yeah, here it is, putting out into the world. All that spicy tech all comes together, and all you need to do is just put loads and loads of bad cards in there. What could be easier? Simple. Well, thanks for joining me on this silly, silly expedition. Um, you can tune back into Action Johnny's call centre for the next installment, which will be when I feel like it. So until then, peace out.